gentlemen. Yeah, that's, so. a, that's a tough feat for sure. Let's open up grand finals. Razo versus Armando. Who's going to take the tournament? Starting off on uh, Starter Stadium, of course. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium too. You know, our, contest our contestants are locked in the heat of battle. Kind of, you know, shout outs to the uh, <laughs> Pokemon Stadium trainer. Yeah. I think they're opening up with game one already, so we're uh, getting, you know, we're moving forward. You know, shout outs to Javi. Uh, he's putting together our stream production, as we were saying. Um, and yeah, right now, dead even, you know, opening up the match. Like, like, <laughs> can you imagine that? Our, our like, Javi knew, he's like, oh, it's going to be tight at 45. Let's come in right then and there, coming into game one. Uh, and of course, uh, as we were saying, Armando playing that Meta Knight, Razo playing Daisy. And just both these combatants so so even. Let's see what kind of changes Armando is able to make, you know, coming from that semis match. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm surprised we didn't see the parasol. Yeah, uh, that's, you know, what I, that's what I thought was coming. But that crown does so much damage, so much knockback. You know, in, in fact, I think he may have just not gone for the parasol because if for whatever reason he was misspaced it and he missed uh -huh. it. And <laughs> He's gonna get shot a little bit. Really <laughs> hard punish. Yeah. And four, he opens up that. You know, it's a, uh, it's on the green, and he's taking the first stock with that golf club. And man, oh, okay, Armando is trying to bait out an aggressive option with that shuttle loop. Didn't quite get it. Didn't take too much damage for his trouble though, fortunately. Oh, wow. Daring. Very daring. Yeah. That counter, you know, scouted out that mock tornado. Kind of, uh, you know, Rosal just kind of very patiently baiting out Armando's aggression using it, yeah. you know, to his advantage. All right. And there's Daisy Bomber closing out stock number two. Armando yet to find an answer in this first game with a Daisy sitting at 166%. I mean, you would think she's heavy, but she really isn't. The neutral will take it though. Yeah. <laughs> there's your answer. There's the proof. <laughs> there's the proof. <laughs> oh my god, and Raza just from the go is already, you know, already out there. And here's the damage train. Oh right, man, if you got that parry, down tilt. Yeah, but he got he, uh, <laughs> put the, the down tilt in the wrong direction. Yeah. And here we go, uh, Armando trying to open him up. He's got to try to take this stock without taking too much more damage. Yeah, very good. You know, he got he got Raza trapped in shield and uh, scared with those forward tilts, and then just went up and grabbed it. Not something you normally see because the uh, <laughs> I, I've never seen a, a Daisy or a Peach uh, afraid to throw out a hitbox in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> wow, forward air into the slight dash shuttle loop. Um, I would have loved to have seen that kill just because it looks so cool. Yeah. Raza's right. still going to hang out to that stock for now. 101%. He finds a back air to send Armando flying to the opposite side of the stage. Yeah, just meticulous. Just building that lead. Just very methodical. Workman like. All while wearing a fancy dress, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a forward air, and that should do it. And that's game one. No game. answers right now for Armando so far. Game one, solid two stock coming out from Razo. And going back to um, the winter semis match, that's four in a row by Razo over Armando. Oh, yeah. That He's was kind of at a loss. Yeah. He just can't, he can't figure it out. Just quite how to uh, get around these hitboxes. I mean, Peach is such a, Peach and Daisy is such strong characters, really, right. with, the, with their ability to, like, Zone you out with projectiles. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we gonna see a flashback okay. right now? All right, let's go. Oh, okay. Right. Well, also, this, I like here this we go. Let's, I like let's get the chain. All right, so he's gonna go with that snake. You know, four, four is enough. He's like, well, let's let's try something different now. Um, something new. <laughs> and we got battlefield with snake, and the grenades are gonna come out. At the very least, maybe he's thinking, let's let's trade some damage to see if I can outlive her. Yeah, and yeah. I mean that's actually a really smart call because Meta Knight is. Literally a bubble, he's gonna right. die really early. Whereas in this case, uh, if he trades, he, he's gonna be on the winning side of it right. because of how heavy Snake is. So let's see how adept uh, Razo is at uh, navigating the grenades. Seems uh, to be doing all right so far. Because but you gotta think that you know Armando's trying to capitalize on all the hitboxes that are gonna be coming out from Daisy as a means to explode the grenades, and yeah. so far it's working. Yeah. Almost establishing a 20% lead there. I spoke a little bit too soon. Dash attacking out and getting back to center stage. And let's see, you know, if this is the change that Armando needed. 
He's got him in a good position. Oh, he went for the up tilt. Not quite enough. Just the, uh, you know. Yeah. And down throw, he got a little antsy. He was waiting for that up tilt, uh, you know, for the read on a get up option. But Razo was so patient and waited just like a half second to throw off his timing. Oh my god, <laughs> Armando's really just throwing out these up tilts. Hey, if it works, you know. <laughs> Why not? Well, it's not working so far. He's got to get it to work. Maybe he's just trying to prove it works, right? <laughs> But up smash will do it. He's throwing up smash instead, apparently. That's, that's, just, that's just how Armando plays. <laughs> and he's gotten a lead. It's mind games. And the grenade hits, uh, traded it. You know, that's the long con trade. <laughs> Trade the back air for the grenade hit. And yeah, it looks like Raz is a little uncomfortable navigating through some of the grenades so far. It's probably got to be one of those things you're so geared up playing against Meta Knight that it takes a second to kind of find your bearings to go through the you know, the fun carnival attraction that is Snake's yeah, yeah, grenade yeah. game. Armando going to get blown up a little bit by his own grenade there, but he's still not quite enough <laughs> anymore. I was going to say he's still holding on to his first stock. Right. Whoa, what a setup. Yep, got that throw to the C4. And Razo in a little bit of trouble. But, of course, as we've been saying, Pete or uh, Daisy's able to put on damage so quickly. Finds one good opening, and we're, we could be looking at a pretty close match. But... Just explosions all around. There's an up tilt, and yeah, Armando in control of a game. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is again a, a great pick, especially if your opponent is very aggressive. Um, you can you can bet that he's going to trade a lot, get a lot of uh, grenade explosions, right. and a heavier body, and just picking a character overall that just controls the pace of the match. Right. If not. Uh, Directly, but indirectly. And like, even going back to the brawl meta game, uh, Snake was kind of very, very much of a, a Peach killer. Like Peach would do a lot of early percent combos, would always have trouble closing out the stock. It and out. it seems, yeah. uh, you know, very similar. Uh, Razo having quite a bit of trouble closing out these stocks from Armando. Yeah, and I don't think Razo actually played uh, competitive brawl uh -huh. either. So this is oh, the old adage: yeah. <laughs> if you're a brawl player, you can fight the snakes. Uh, but, you know, don't look now, Armando's within striking distance. Oh, and, and uh, Raza with a uh, dot eyes in hand. Yeah. Ooh, he gets a little bit of damage and an uh, up air that was oh. interrupted by Armando there. There's a grenade, yeah, he got a little over aggressive. Was putting on good pressure until he realized that Alvin was with a grenade in hand. And there's Nikita. Oh, that was a, that was a recovery and a half, my friend. Like, wow. Just so elusive, so evasive. He's yeah. just walking up with up tilt. That's, that's just the wall, just to scare, oh, you know, dude. to scare Raza. He's I'm like, surprised he grabbed him instead of up tilt to that with the uh, bomber. And he traded that uh, Nikita and Raza. In tr oh, there's the up tilt. Is... I think that's what he was baiting for. So he was Ar waiting for the Peach Bomber. Man, Armando moving up 2-0 in this set. I know the scoreboard uh, said otherwise, but yes, Armando won the first game and the second game. It's like 2008 all over again. The snakes are beating the peaches. Dang, dude. <laughs> or the daisy, or not not even, the daisy was not even in that game, but same hit boxes, same, or different hurt boxes, yeah, but you get I the think, idea. I think she's a little <laughs> short. A little, a little shorter, a little, a little taller. A little oh, bigger, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a little taller. Yeah. Um, of course. Oh, man. Such a good adaptation, you know. Sometimes you, you got to give up banging your head against the wall and, uh, Change it up and go snake, and so far paying off 1-1 one, one, coming into game three. Now let's see if Raz is able to kind of channel his aggression. The other thing we were talking about, of picking your spots and, you know, being the aggressive player when you know it's time to be the aggressive player against snake. Oh, Javi, it's 2-0. It's 2-0. Oh, no, it's 1-1. Is it 1-1? I yeah. thought, thought uh, Raz won, won the first game. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. That's why he switched to snake. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. Javi all over it. He's got it. He's got it unlocked. No worries. Uh. I thought he won a game with Snake for whatever reason. Well, we'll, we'll find out when the players yeah. are like looking at each other. Like, it's over. Is it not? Are we still but, playing? Yeah. But either way, um, right now, a little bit of a reverse of the last match. Razo coming out with some, oh. a little bit of a lead. I thought he was going to parasol. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> a little miscue right there. Ar Armando kind of laughing at that one. Just uh, you know, kind of a. One of those frustrated frustration laughs, like man, I could not have done that. What was I thinking? <laughs> uh, wrong direction up tilt, but he does get the forward tilt for his trouble. 
Oh, and it, I, I guess you can get up attack the nades. Good, to, <laughs> good, good information to take in. Um, and able to close out the stock, and we're pretty even. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, my God. Dude. That's like the commentator's curse with Daisy. As soon as you say it's pretty even, then nope. the lead builds up by 50%. You were saying? <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Okay, down throw, manages to get the tech chase with forward tilt. Armando wow. <laughs> comboing into the two hits of up smash. Yeah, good. Just good traps right there. <laughs> Raza having so much trouble getting back onto the stage. Finally able to Dead battle back. Even percents, 99.4 <laughs> on both players. It even looked like uh, Raza battled back. It looked like Armando just pleased off the pressure a little bit. He's got him off stage again. Yeah, he threw out that up tilt. That is the preemptively stuff that Peach Bomber option. Yeah, definitely. So that's something that Raz is going to be have to be a lot more careful of. And another right. up smash taking it. Armando up a stock right now, but definitely needs to pay super careful. As the Warrior, next not big, enough to kill. Yeah, the next big a, hit is going to kill him. There it is. That'll kill, though. Yeah, there you go. And we're even coming in the last stock. It's so pivotal. If Raza takes it, he's going to be sitting up 2-1 on winner's side of Grand Finals, and if uh, Armando takes his stock first, it's, uh, you know, the beginnings of a comeback. Let's see if he's able to make it happen. And, you know, went from even, and all of a sudden, oh, there we go. And Grenade that, changes. I mean, if Everything. I was Razo, this is definitely the moment to turn up right now. He's got a turn up in hand. Wow, very good. Just the grenade and shield just seems to be giving Razo fits. But that throw will be put him in a little bit of trouble. Uh, as you know, again, I'm waiting for the parasol. parasol. I know. <laughs> um, I, know I know it's coming. Dude. Like Ross is probably thinking, but he's a much more disciplined <laughs> player than I am. Like holding my breath. For <laughs> it, dude. I would have pressed up beat. <laughs> that was me. Uh, I pressed no, that. He, he uh, got a little aggressive with that neutral air. Is it coming? Oh, <laughs> dude, that was the opportunity. Right? Armando felt that he air dodged yeah. to the platform, trying to get out of that pressure situation. But here you go. Let's see if. Uh, Oh my god, Peach, Peach Bomber, Bomber just beating out Nikita. It's actually really interesting because he got to like bounce back and, and uh, float. Oh, there's oh, a stitch face. Just oh, threw it. he didn't recognize it. If he did, he might have held on to that to put away the stock. And he sniped him. Oh my god. The pressure. The pressure. Back air to, no, neutral air to back air to neutral cover air it. Back air, yeah. All right, and you know, Ar Armando's running the snake magic, but. Yeah, you got the answer from from Razo. From yeah, <laughs> bringing it to game five. This is the first set. Armando needs to win this next game to move on to the second set and have a chance at taking it all. Uh, all Razo has to do right now is close it out with these last three stocks, and Armando will stay snake. A little bit of a color change, though. All right, I'll actually come into game four here. I think it's game four. Oh, it's game four. Yeah. And either way, you know, explosions everywhere. <laughs> it all looks the same. Game three, game four, it doesn't matter. It's a hype match. And he's stomping all over that shield with float. You know, I, you had to worry at some point that grenade was going to end up exploding and uh, bailing Snake out. It was almost a race to see if he could break his shield. And, yeah, Armando with a commanding lead. He's already in up tilt range. Here it comes. <laughs> That's kind of been the story, right? As soon yeah. as uh, <laughs> as soon as he's uh, Raza's at 110 percent, he's like, "Here comes the up tilt." Up tilt man, there it is, man. <laughs> you can throw out all these float moves; doesn't matter. I'm not up tilt; it'll all be good. And Raza's trying to battle back. Oh, uh, this is trouble! Oh my god, dude! All right, and he's still got him on the way back. Yeah, that's such a good management of risk reward because even if he missed that peach bomber, he had enough uh, advantage state to just you know cover it with uh, parasol to get nice, back. Yeah. 23% now on, on Armando's first stock. He's uh, just kind of sitting at the ledge, pulling out these grenades. And Trying to build a little breathing Yeah, make, making sure that Razo can't uh, invade his space. Try to air dodge to the ledge, but couldn't quite make it there. That's yeah, close. Oh yeah, he's trying to bait, you know, Razo's aggression with float with the C4. And Man. All right, Razo with the immediate answer, the back air to close out that stock. 
Yeah, it could have been worse. He's you know down by 54% after being yeah, down by so much. That's one combo. Yeah. One peach watch combo. Watch gotta him get a grab. He's got to avoid the grenades. Get a nair. A down tilt, maybe. Very aggressive neutral out of that 50-50 situation. Usually, you know, you're kind of scared because the peaches are, or the daisies are always quick to throw out an aerial in that scenario, but Armando Fearless just won the exchange. Oh, okay. Oh, a little miscue. Definitely a miscue, but don't really see Razo flub a recovery like that too often. He's going to pick up the pace a little bit. Almost, uh, almost, almost, almost spaced up that, that uh, neutral air perfectly to get the counter hit, but got clipped by the very end. But it's so close. Because that would have been a play and a half, would have. It might have even tied up the game. But now Armando's sitting in a comfortable lead. Yeah. This game is starting to get uh, away from Razo a little bit. If it was me, I'd be already thinking about game five. Right. Save some of those, uh, save some of those read options. Maybe yeah. start building some habits or something. Yeah, because up tilt's about to start coming out. <laughs> there it is. They got it back here on the roll read. That move is so funny. I wonder sometimes if some of these up smashes might be up tilts, uh, you yeah. know, getting a little, uh, you know, <laughs> misinput. But I'm sure it's uh, all top tier snake play from Armando so far. On the brink of tying it up. Yeah, went for the uh, the next level option. Platform drop then to up tilt. <laughs> And very content to trade, too, in these situations. As yeah, it's going to be enough to kill. Oh, C4 man, Snake, on the is, platform. Yeah, Snake is so ran up. He knew he was there. Yeah, Razo just not sure how to deal with this up tilt wall. He's got to do all of his damage before he gets to that point. That'll kill. <laughs> oh, my god. I mean, at 100, like 90%, I would hope that would kill. <laughs> That would be funny. And also really, really sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game five situation here in grand final set one. Are we uh, going to call the it early or are we going to go to five. set two? I don't know, man. Now, now that statement that I made earlier about what <laughs> Armando want, needing to win this to uh -huh. get another one, Razo just closing it out. That, now, now it's true. But I already said it. So. Hey, it's, it's true Save if you wait long time. enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> you were just ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. I was seeing the future. And here we go, making uh, Edmund look like a profit. Game five, win or go home for Armando. Uh, win and go home for uh, for Razo if he uh, you know takes the tournament. So let's see what he's able to do. And again, we're seeing if Armando's able to get a lead and get that high percentage on Daisy, she just doesn't seem to have an answer for that up tilt pressure. So let's see, right now, Razo sticking to the script and taking an early lead with 60 something percent damage. But he's gotta figure out how to get through the grenade minefield. Yeah, so far, uh, so good. He's got a good amount of damage on Armando and a good read here, able to get a, a, another grab. Yeah, and that, but uh, was able, you know, got a little greedy and Armando up tilted out of it. But then Armando got a little greedy and uh, Ronzo back here him for it. So both these players are hungry out here. Hey, it's grand finals, right? You got a oh, there's oh a bomb. God, Speaking seen, of the minefield, I've seen too many. Oh, he almost connected that. Oh, dude! Oh Explosions on that platform. Grenade uh, <laughs> to C4. The, I don't know what the HP on that platform is, but that got hit by a bomb, a C4, a grenade. Yeah. It's magic. I mean, it's just floating. Dude. Yeah. Psychic Pokemon holding it up. Oh. So yeah, whatever that's made out of, we need to start, you know, building our buildings out of it. <laughs> that withstood a terrorist attack. It's, it's uh, insane. It's uh, what's that metal called from Wakanda? It's, it's that. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> not a not adamantium, is it? Adamantium, right? Yeah. I think yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Adamantium Stage 2, uh, <laughs> or Stadium 2, uh, all right. And we're pretty even here. Unfortunately, through all those exchanges, Razo kind of fell behind. He had built himself a little bit of a lead. And he picked the spot, used throw invincibility to try to get it going on that grenade. Armando throwing out these up smashes by the ledge and actually nets him a grab into the up smash. Like what? What kind of what kind <laughs> of character has an up smash that combos into the like grab? 
And here we are in that situation we were talking about. There really isn't an answer to that up tilt. Too off. Oh, there's oh, a broken shield. Oh my god. I think we're going to set two. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it now. That's a set yeah. two that's a set two statement right yeah. there. Break his shield and I think Snake might be the answer to this Daisy. Yeah, I mean, because he was total uh domination. Oh, oh he got him back! Oh, not enough to kill yeah. there. I wonder uh, if it were me, I would start farming and see if I pulled out a, a stitch face or something. <laughs> Just to, you know. true, true. <laughs> but you know, yeah, you got to take the punish, the guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, he went for the frying pan too, so he knew that was gonna send him straight up. Right. But the uh, blast zone not quite low enough, not enough damage. And the snake, maybe even going for like the golf club or something to send him off stage would have been a better call. Neither here nor there. Still has a massive mountain to climb right now as uh, Armando sitting still on a set of second stock at 119%. Yeah, and he's got to get this stock now before he gets into this oh. up tilt oh. range. Oh, he's 10 more percent. Really close, yeah. 20 more percent. Here, Here it is. So the more. up tilts are going to start coming out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and Armando's just going to throw them out, too, because he's, he, I mean, he's just throwing them out when he's like behind. Right. He's going to throw them out. There oh, it is. Yeah, down. guaranteed in that Whoa. position. To up to and welcome to set two of grand finals. <laughs> Snake reporting for duty. Raza kind of looking to the heavens for some answers.